Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I would love for you to join me over on Instagram at E-M-W-I-L-S-S where I go live and we have a lot of fun. So join me over there. And now I want to get to what I want to talk about today. This big question that I get so often in my exchanges with women in person, in email, I see it all across the board. This question of what is wrong with me? Something must be wrong with me because I don't have a boyfriend. I'm never out, asked out on any dates. I didn't have a guy ask me to the prom. What is wrong with me? And today we're going to smash apart this lie that something is wrong with you if you are not in a relationship, if you don't have guys asking you out. <sighs> There's this perpetual idea, I think, in the hearts and minds of women. First of all, this myth we believe that relationships are everything and that we, if we don't have that, we have nothing. And the second part of that being, something is wrong with me if I'm not in a relationship, if guys are not asking me out on dates. This is problematic and I want you, if this is something you struggle with, believing that something is wrong with you because of this, this is something that I wanna speak into your life today. Because this is something I asked myself when I was in high school. As a lot of you know, in high school, I didn't ever get asked out on a date. I never went on one date when I was in high school. I got asked to prom at the very, very, very end of senior year of high school. And for so long, I looked around um, at all the girls who had all the attention of guys and this and that. And I thought maybe they have something inherently as a woman that I don't. Maybe something is wrong with me. Maybe I'm not doing things correctly. Maybe I need to do things in a different way or look a different way. And here's where the problem comes in. When we listen to that lie and believe the lie that there's something wrong with us, we think then, well, I have to change as a person, as a woman. I have to look differently or act differently or get a haircut that looks this way or talk in a different way in order to become attractive, in order that nothing will be wrong with me so that a guy will ask me out. And then we can fix and change and fit ourselves into this mold and become someone we are not in hopes that nothing will then be wrong with us so that a guy will think we're attractive and ask us on a date or want us to be his girlfriend. And then we become someone we're not. What a sad, sad way to live and a way that no woman should be living. We shouldn't be trying to stuff ourselves into some mold so that a guy will pay attention, will Snapchat us, will like us back, will wanna marry us. Your job is just to be you. And there could be a million reasons why you're single and why guys aren't asking you on dates. I don't know your personal story. I don't know what the reason behind that is. It could be as simple as it's not God's will for your life right now to be in a relationship. That there's other things that the Lord wants you to be doing in your life. There's other things that God wants you to be pouring your passion, your time, your heart, your effort, your energy to in this moment. There are a, a, many, many different reasons why you could be single in this moment. But the reason that you're single is not because something is wrong with you inherently as a woman. Hear me when I tell you this. Not being in a relationship is not an indicator that something is wrong with you. In the same way that being in a relationship only indicates one thing, that you're in a relationship. Being in a relationship, having a boyfriend isn't some indicator that you're beautiful or you're smart or you're funny or you're wonderful. It's simply an indicator that you're in a relationship. That's the only thing that being in a relationship means about you and about who you are. Funny how that works. Don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying nothing is wrong with you so you can eat cheddar and sour cream ruffles all day and sit on the couch and watch Netflix and never do anything with your life. No, that's not what I am saying. Is it good to take care of yourself? Yes. Is it good to eat healthy? Yes. Is it good to exercise? Yes. Is it good to do things like healthy eating and exercise and all those different kinds of things that help you to feel attractive, that help you to feel beautiful, that help you to feel good about yourself? Yes. If you are a woman in your 20s and beyond, it is a good thing to do things that would potentially attract a future husband, like take care of yourself, like have passions, like have ambitions. Those are very good things. And those are things that we can pour our heart and our energy to in a very, very good and healthy way. But I don't want you to look around at all the women around you in relationships, being asked on dates a lot, a girl who got you know four invitations to prom, and look at those women and think, they have something inherently as a woman that I don't. They must be more beautiful. They must have the right hairstyle. They must talk in the right way. They must flirt in the right way. They must X, Y, or Z, and therefore something is wrong with me. Hello? What's up? Daniel just called because I told him, I texted him that the baby can hear now because I just found that out today, um, and he was so excited. So the baby can hear everything I'm saying. 
Um, where were we? Oh yes, I don't want you believing that something is wrong with you. That is a lie that, that can plant a really deep root of insecurity in our hearts. Life is a good and beautiful thing, as you know, I believe that. And in our culture that perpetuates the idea that relationships are everything and without that you have nothing, I want you to hear me today. Nothing is wrong with you. And when this little lie comes up in your heart, something is wrong with me. Something must be wrong with me. I want you to think of three things that are good and beautiful about who you are as a woman, whatever that might be. The, I share some of this in my chapter called Love Yourself and Go Bravely. I want you to think of three things that are good and true and beautiful about who you are as a woman. You need to combat that lie that something is wrong with you with the truth about who Jesus Christ says that you are. And that list is long and it's full of good and beautiful things. So I wanted you to hear that truth today. That it is not a matter of things being right or wrong. That, that something is wrong with you and then you get in a relationship and all of a sudden everything is right with you. That's not the case. The plan is different for each of our lives. The timeline is different for each of our lives. And when we embrace that as women, we can rest. So take good care of yourself. Love yourself. Pour your heart out into the world. The world needs your love. The world needs your light. That's all for today. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna hear when I'm posting more videos. And I will talk to you soon.